Welcome to this Newark News Brief. I'm Megan McGurman. Here's what you need to know in Newark this week. The Newark Police Department has stepped up enforcement in and around the New Street Cemetery. Officers are enforcing trespassing, disorderly conduct, and alcohol violations, and have already made numerous arrests. The department is concerned with the danger posed to pedestrians who are crossing the railroad tracks at unsignalized and non-sanctioned crossings. The city is looking for engaged citizens to help shape the future of Newark. There are a number of open positions on boards, committees, and commissions within the city, including the Election Board and the Board of Building, Fire, Property Maintenance, and Sidewalk Appeals. Interested residents can fill out an application at newarkde.gov. Residents should not have to worry about surprise high water bills. Those with continuous usage over a 21-day span receive a notification in the mail. Anyone with an online account in the city's utility and payment system interested in monitoring their electric and water utility can also sign up for usage alerts. The Newark community is coming together to mark the 16th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. The City and University of Delaware are hosting a Patriot Day ceremony on Monday, September 11th at Olin Thomas Park. The ceremony begins at 9 a.m. Olin Thomas Park is also the home of the City of Newark's 9-11 Memorial. And finally, you may have noticed the Blue Hens are back in town. More than 4,000 new students started their University of Delaware careers this week. Mayor Sear visited many of those students during move-in weekend. She handed out City of Newark information and made sure the class of 2021 feels welcome in their new city. For the latest updates from the City of Newark, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And be sure to sign up for our Inform Me Citizen Notification System. You can also visit us online at newarkde.gov and watch us on Newark TV 22. With this Newark News Brief, I'm Megan McGurman.